This is your weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. I'm Chief Me Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Almost got it all right. Wednesday, January 13th, beginning of this weather forecast period, we have the new moon. So nothing to see out there at night. Checking in on drought conditions from the end of 2020 to this week. Again, not much change at all. But if you look at the end of last year, nationally we see some long-term drought, some pretty severe drought conditions in West Texas. And if you go forward a week, there's been some significant rains down there and out on the plains, helping to alleviate drought there. We are seeing rain get it come into the Pacific Northwest. If you go back and then forward again, it doesn't show up much in the drought data yet. We got some relief around here with a storm that performed a little better than I thought. About twice as much snow as I called for. I was about in the inch and a half area. We got three to even four inches around. Um, so maybe even three times performance over my prediction. Looking at the oranges, that's roughly four to five inches scattered along here. And the dark greens are roughly one and a half to four inches. Zooming in on Boulder County, we have three and a half, three and a half out west of town, uh, just north of town, about two and a half to three inches. Boulder area saw up to five. There's four over here, some three and a half inch snowfall amounts through there. So yeah, some, some good snow came in over the weekend. Looking okay, at the amount of precipitation, you can see why the storm overperformed, and it was a very narrow band, almost exactly along I-25. So here we got a quarter to a half inch, just in this little strip. Go up into the mountains very far, nothing, and out on the plains, it faded off pretty quickly. Areas around Pueblo and Colorado Springs and south did pretty well as well. So now we are dealing with a passing trough in the upper atmosphere in the beginning of our forecast period here for Wednesday, Thursday. This sharp trough here is bringing in very strong winds. We had a mountain wave cloud sitting over the front range on Wednesday. And we have a high wind warning for most locations except uh, central and eastern Denver and up in the mountains. So winds could gust as high as 60 miles per hour or so. My trash can got knocked over. Okay, looking at the next seven days, here's Friday through Friday. There's our normal high temperature of 44. Normal low temperature is dropping from 18 to 17, but we're pretty much at the bottom here. It doesn't, doesn't drop much more in February. And the temperatures bounce around a lot. We have definitely cool days and warmer days, but it stays right in that envelope very nicely. You certainly do see a much greater increase in precipitation chances in a number of events. So Thursday to Friday, little hint of something. Starting to Sunday, a little bit better. Still, many model runs don't bring precipitation to Denver. This is the actual airport. And then it's Monday through Wednesday that we get a much better chance of rain and snow. So let's put the maps into motion. Here's the Wednesday into Thursday trough coming down. It digs a very deep low pressure system over the Ohio Valley with a ridge out in the west warming us up. Now the trough comes in for Saturday Sunday but you can see it's kind of open and zips on by. Then we finally get a trough digging in on Monday into Tuesday. Slows down a little bit. We got a cutoff low over Arizona. Las Vegas, Southern California, and a Wednesday, and we have a trough kind of connecting a little bit with it before it reconnects and pulls on through next week. So you can see we do have energy for precipitation. So let's take a look at that precipitation, and it's not altogether impressive. We have the weekend, I'm sorry, the Thursday snows in the mountains that moves out, and the weekend, here comes this little ripple, and if you don't look at it, Quick enough, you miss it. It's just there for about a six hour window. Then going into Monday into Tuesday, definitely north of us there's more. And then it kind of shifts focus down into New Mexico, Arizona. Not a lot happens right around Denver, Longmont, Fort Collins. 
So over the next six days, the mountains definitely do better with some areas getting six, eight inches, locally 10. Out on the plains, not much. Looking out 10 days, it sees a lot more activity coming up, but that's pretty far out. So we wouldn't put a lot of stock in that at this time. That's interesting to look at. Over the next week, we bounce from the 50s to the 40s and back. We do have uh, the cooler weather right around Mount Luther King Day with a chance of snow. For local news, take out a look at Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com, and there are frequent weather updates there. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.